In my last video, I used the bipolar junction transistor as a switch by inserting or removing the LED to the base, the transistor, the collector current turned on or off. And uh, now we're going to expand on that a little bit. We're going to use this circuit to demonstrate the transistor as an amplifier. So right now, I have this trim pot here, which I'm using to send a signal to the base of the transistor. Right now the trim pot is set down to zero volts. comes to this negative power rail and the emitter also comes to the negative power rail. So they're at the same voltage. We consider that zero volts, the ground in this case. So there's a zero volt uh, voltage potential difference so no current's gonna flow. That's the cutoff range. So now we're gonna move up to the active region and so I'll just Take the trim pot and slowly turn it more towards positive. And what you'll see is now the load starts lighting up. And so a little bit of current is going through this LED and then the resistor that comes to the base. A very small amount of current. Uh, not even really enough to light up the LED. Just kind of a faint glow. But this LED is uh, brightly lit. A lot more currents flowing through. But that's because of the current here. So now this is going to be a multiple amount of current for probably a tenth of a milliamp of current. It's going to let it through maybe a hundred times more current through the collector. And uh, so that's the active region for every uh, fraction of a milliamp of current that makes it to the base. Uh, actual uh, probably about a hundred times uh, milliamps of current actually go through the transistor via the collector via this path so that's uh, called the gain uh, if there's a multiple of a hundred when it comes to uh, current through the collector versus the base then it would have a gain of a hundred so if you gave the base one milliamp that would allow a hundred milliamps through the collector and uh, no more, you know, it would stop about there. But if you let 2 milliamps to the base of current, then 200 milliamps could flow from the collector to the emitter. And so that's a thing to remember, the gain or the beta value. That tells you how much more current flows through the collector versus the uh, current you're sending to the base. So now we're going to turn this up a little bit more. And our goal which is about right here no matter how much current I give to the base by this point if I give it more no more current appears to be going through the load so that's our saturation point uh, we have full current going through here through the uh, collector to the emitter even though we can get more current through the base so we ended our multiplication point uh, the the current to emitter current is stuck where it is because it can't go any higher. The power source is providing all that it can because of this protective resistor. The transistor is not uh, limiting it anymore. Even though we can increase the current through the base. So that's called the saturation point. And when it comes to uh, amplifiers, uh, transistors, that's uh, the main things you need to know. The cutoff point, the active region, the saturation point and then the gain you want to know for however much current you give to the base what the multiple amount of current flowing from collector to emitter and then also the load that you have that connected to you want to know what the gain is 